demonstration shows charging by conduction. In, in order to have charging by conduction, there must be contact. And so in this case, we have contact through the metal pipe, through the PVC pipe. So in the beginning, when you charge the PVC pipe, you're creating charging by friction by rubbing the um, fur and the PVC pipe. And so basically you have stage one, you have the electroscope that is has an equal number of protons and electrons. And then when you rub the PVC pipe with the fur, you negatively charge the PVC pipe. And so when you bring that PVC pipe and touch it to the electroscope, these leaves will repel. And that is because when you touch, when you touch the top of the electroscope with the negatively charged PVC pipe, the electrons are um, transferred to the electroscope. And because these two will have opposite uh, the same charge, they will repel. So you can see that there are still some protons in here because the protons are never gonna completely leave. There's just now more electrons than there are protons. And because of this contact, that is how you charge the electroscope by conduction. And so in order to, you could say uncharge, but in order to get the electroscope back to normal, you ground the electroscope. And so grounding is when you touch this when you touch the electroscope with your hand and you have to be standing on the ground because the, elect the electrons are gonna go out through your hand and into the ground, and that causes the um, leaves to come back together and allows the electroscope to re-enter its original state of an equal number of protons and um, electrons. But so you can see here, when you ground it, if you were to, if you were to be, like, if you were to be in the air and touch it, it wouldn't work because you're not actually on the ground. So you have to be, your feet have to be on the ground in order for the leaves to come back to normal because the electrons are going to leave through your hand and they're going to, um, the electrons are gonna leave through your hand and end up in the ground, therefore causing the electroscope to return to its original state. And also um, during the act of conduction, um, these electrons are transferring into the electroscope. That doesn't mean that also shows that charge cannot be created or destroyed. They're just being transferred 